Hello and welcome to this assignment walkthrough video for the DHIS2 curriculum developed by Logical Outcomes. My name is Nicholas Santillo and in this video I'm joined by Georgi Chakarov and together we go through creating data validation rules in DHIS2. Okay, so I'm here with Georgi. Hey Georgi. Hi Nick, how have you been? Good, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. That's good. And today we're going to go looking at the data validation rules, how to create one in the system. So this is uh, at the moment, this is in unit seven, uh, or sorry, assignment 17. Um, most of what we're going to do is in the system. So why don't we pop over to the data quality app in DHIS2. Oh, so many applications. Okay, yeah. <laughs> cool. And so here we are in the data quality app. And we'll click on the, data, the validation rule uh, section. And then we'll look at how to create these uh, data validation rules. So... Uh, just looking at the examples that exist, it's one statement with something in between and then another statement. So it's the first example here, confirmed malaria cases treated is lower than or equal to confirmed malaria cases. And then we have an importance and a period type. But let's click add new because these are all uh, medical examples. We can create one that's non-medical. Cool. So we have a name, and the name is going to be something similar to uh, what we were just looking at, where it's a statement, operator statement. But we can go down and actually look at creating something first, and then we'll name it uh, at the end. And if we haven't added a name, it also means we can't make something uh, unfinished, because the name, it won't allow us to create something without a name entered. So uh, we have the description, the instructions, importance, and rule type. Uh, rule type has to do with whether it is for tracker capture or not, and surveillance is for tracker capture validation rules. Validation is for aggregate. We're going to stick with validation for the example. And then the period type is similar to the data elements. Uh, monthly is what we'll select. So let's edit the left side. It's very similar to indicators, right, Georgie, with the kind of numerator and denominator? Yep. Okay, I'm having a little trouble seeing your screen. Can you try closing that and opening it again? Here we go. Okay, so we have a description, and we can choose from constants and available data elements. Let's look for our monthly data elements here for the USDA. Cool, so we have um, schools using an improved water source and textbooks and other teaching materials provided. So we can make a kind of made up one for now. So why don't we say like, um, schools using an improved water source is equal to or greater than schools uh, than or it should be uh, equal to or less than textbooks less than totally. because <laughs> we can't have more yeah. schools than textbooks i think that makes sense right yeah so it's something that shouldn't ever break but we we can make that just as an example so yeah if you double click on that uh, we just get that and we could multiply it or add it if we want but just like with indicators but i don't think we're mm -hmm. going to do that now so let's just give it a description of what well, we're both getting messages mm -hmm. <laughs> um so let's just give it a description of uh, schools with improved water okay and cool save that and then we edit the right side and we just get to select the other data element there so we can say textbooks provided now once again as, as Georgie's writing this it's really any data element or any combination of data elements uh, just like with indicators and once we've selected our left and our right side we want the description to be clear because it could be more than just one data element uh, then we choose the operator, which is what's going between them. So the operator, we're saying that it has to be less than or equal to, right? Because we want to have less schools than textbooks. Uh, then we have to give ourselves a name, uh, which is something that so we understand <laughs> when we're looking at it, uh, what it is. That's fine for now. Um, and then you would want to obviously enter a description and an instruction 
um, so that when when people are entering data they can see what happens uh, if they do it wrong that you can add that description um, and the instruction <laughs> is when the rule is violated and the description is is what's happened wrong mm -hmm. uh, yeah so that's that's basically how you create it I think do you have anything else to add Georgie yeah would you um, on top of your hand uh, top of your head sorry be able to explain the difference between the importance of the validation rules? I mean, what if you select high, medium, and low? What what difference does it make? It's a good question. So um, I've talked to some of the developers already about it, and, and I had a kind of uh, answer that's not as clear as I'd like. So what I can say is that when you, when you enter importance as high, that'll have more issues around preventing data entry if it breaks the rule. It won't even allow you to save your data entry. If it's yeah. low, I believe you can enter data even if it's wrong, yeah. um, even, although it won't take it to a report, but it will keep it in the cell. Um, and then medium, I'm unclear. So uh, this should be kind of verified, and I think each, um, each iteration of DHIS2 works a little bit differently, so you have to kind of look at we're on 2.22, what we're looking at right now. But um, yeah, probably something you have to go into uh, and look more and we're gonna have some more information coming up at the moment. Uh, it's unclear and it's not explicitly clear in the um, documentation, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Cool, so I think that's good for now. At least we, we've shown how you can pull it together. Uh, and with that, you should be able to do your assignment. So thanks so much, Georgie. That's all for now. As always, you can get in touch with us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or on our YouTube channel, Logical Outcomes.